So I just got a facial done this morning with La Paris at Violet Grey, and then I got my makeup done at Violet Grey. So my makeup looks different today, which I could not be more happy about. It's just something I would never be able to recreate myself. So today's video, I wanted to go over my biannual favorites. A couple of you guys have asked me to do monthly favorites, but the thing is, once I like something, I'm pretty much gonna use it for months on end. I don't think I can come up with enough products and things that I like each month. That's why I'm doing biannual favorites. This was supposed to be out in June, but it's August. Let's go on. So I decided to pick out about 10 to 12 of my favorite things this year and share them with you. I'm gonna go ahead and start listing them. They're in no particular order. The first one is green tea pills. I have a problem where I bloat really easily, immediately, like after any meal, and I'm a really small girl, so when I bloat, I notice it right away, and I, it feels incredibly heavy on me. I feel like I need to regulate my diet or um, talk to a dietitian. So I was complaining a lot about bloating when I was in Tennessee on that road trip, and one of the girls on the trip, Stephanie from Honey and Silk, she recommended me taking these, and she said it changed, like, her life. I mean, it's a little drastic to say, but these are kind of really amazing. It's one of those things like, how did I go this long without it? I guess green tea pills help with burning fat, but it's also really great for your cardiovascular system um, because it's an antioxidant. It just helps me metabolize a lot faster, which is something that I sometimes have trouble with, especially when I'm traveling. So I turn all my friends onto green tea pills. I recommended it to everyone. You should get the green tea pills that have 75% or more catagens um, and 95% polyphenols. So I was taking two a day at first, and then I realized like, oh my gosh, I'm too frail right now. It, it burned off too much fat, and I didn't realize it was a crazy fat burner. Once reading up on that and like your body mass and stuff, I realized I should be taking only one a day. So now I just take one once a day, and that seems to be regulating my body incredibly well. Okay. So, so my second favorite thing this month is my signature perfume, which is Atelier Cologne. I love perfumes that smell really androgynous and have kind of like this musky masculine smell to it. I also think just having a signature scent is well worth the investment. There's something really powerful about a woman who has a lingering scent that captivates you that you can't recognize and it's very mysterious. I think it's so sexy. So I love having a really strong, beautiful perfume. I bought this over a year ago, maybe, and I still have about 70% of the bottle left. Yeah, it's a, it's a hefty price, but I think beautiful perfumes are so worth the investment. So coffee books. I picked up a few coffee books this one is by Yves Saint Laurent, and it's about his travels in Morocco. I haven't been to Morocco yet, and I wanna go so bad. Morocco is such a beautiful city. To see it through someone else's eye like that, it's very pleasant. I just thought this book was incredibly beautiful. I love the handwritten details, and it's just very inspiring to kind of glance through and see where Yves Saint Laurent kind of got his inspiration. I'm also really digging Marfa Journal. I just came back from Texas, and I drove with my parents all the way from San Antonio to Austin to Dallas. And I really wanted to stop by Marfa. I found this book in By George, which is a beautiful boutique in Austin. I love the energy of Marfa. So I picked up this book when I saw it and, and there's a lot of really amazing contributors on here. So I started reading the journal on my way back from the airport. I read the entire book on the flight and I read all the interviews involved in it. So I really like this zine. Another coffee book I really like is more of a magazine. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, so bear with me. The L'Officiel Ohms magazine, um, the men's version. I love the cover of it, how they got Andre to be a part of it. And it also goes along the terms of I just sometimes think that men have better style than women. And I always find myself really engaged in savoring every single page when I'm looking through a low officiel Ohms magazine. So I really like that. So on the topic of books, I'm currently reading Haruki's Marakamai's 1984, which I'm not that far in, but it is so beautifully written that I kind of want to just 
reread every word and I'm also a very slow reader. I don't read that much, but I really love the book. I can't say it's a favorite yet, but since I don't read that much, it pretty much is a favorite. <laughs> So my next favorite thing is the Gary Basement for Coach Collection. Guys, it is on point. I remember seeing it, I think it was last fashion week in September of 2014. I remember standing at the runway show and seeing the first jacket go by. Is anyone else seeing this? This is Gary Basement's illustrations on coach pieces. The color palette, it was just so perfectly chosen. I'm a fan of Gary Basement's work. I discovered him through my boyfriend's documentary. I actually met Gary, he's a great guy, he's really funny. I met him at a party at Coachella and I kept bumping into him at Coachella so we became friends. I'm also a really big fan of Coach's new creative director, Stuart Viveres, who came from Lowe and he also did work for Mulberry. But I think what he's doing at Coach is so incredibly brilliant. This jacket is my favorite thing. How could it not be? I love the illustration on the back. The best part about this jacket is that it's reversible but I'm actually terrified to wear this jacket. And it's very special to me. I mean, you're never gonna find this jacket again. And it's on sale now. So if you have $800 to spend, I would definitely buy that jacket. And I also love this dress, it's also on sale. And it comes in blue and pink. It's just such a special piece. This dress and this jacket is definitely gonna be a collectible. Currently he just launched one of, I think it might be his last collaboration with Coach, but he just did the Wild Beast. So he designed this leopard print uh, sweater, but he has all these other things too in the leopard print. Definitely check those out. I'm not getting paid to say this. I really, really, really love what Coach is doing. So makeup wise, I'm really liking things that are super natural. I don't want to feel guilty for having makeup on, especially in summer when your makeup's just kind of really running into your pores. So I'm really a huge fan right now of RMS Beauty. It started off wanting to try their Living Luminizer. Actually, I was at Violet Grey today and um, this thing's back ordered until the end of next month. And you guys know I love my highlighter. I wear highlighter every day. And I like this one because it looks like you're glowing from within. But since I got that, the RMS Beauty team sent me a bunch of other products. So I really like their concealer. I just wear concealer just in the areas that I need to even out. But I've been trying to wear less makeup and I don't feel guilty when this is on my face. I like the consistency. It almost like melts into your skin immediately. Like you know how your makeup looks better four hours after you did it. What I like about this is when you put it on, it immediately looks like it's been on for four hours because it just kind of melts into your skin. And then I also like the lip and cheek stain. This one is in Sacred, and I like that it looks like you have just bitten lips. I put a little bit like on the contours of my cheek. I definitely like smear it on so it looks like aftermath lipstick. The entire line just looks so beautiful and natural on your skin. I know I'm raving a lot about everything, but like the RMS beauty stuff is wonderful. There's like so many sales going on right now. Barney's Warehouse sells home goods. Barney's Warehouse often does clearance sales where it's an extra 50% off a sale order. It's incredible. You know, candles really never go on sale, but when Barney's Warehouse has a sale, they have like extra clearances on top of their sale prices. So I was able to get like really expensive candles for really cheap. I mean, look how big this candle is. This is for my living room. This is by DNL Co. And this one's in Desert Rose. It's not as strong as I would have liked it to be, but I love the fact that I could burn this forever. I think I got this for $70 and it was originally almost $300. I also got Daner Decker diffusers. And this one's really lovely as well. This one is in the scent Koa. It's lasted me quite a while. I still have almost the entire product in it still and it diffuses quite nicely. I like to place it by the window so that the breeze brings the scent through the room. Barney's Warehouse Sale, awesome. Buying candles on it, even better. <laughs> You know who I'm really, really, really digging right now is ASAP. His new album is on repeat. Electric Body and LSD, I think are my favorite tracks on it. Playing ASAP Rocky in your living room is just like this very sexual ambiance that I just want to be in all the time with my really expensive candles burning. So that new album, killer. ASAP is on the list too. 
Ceci n'est pas une pipe. Zut alors. Ouf. Facial oils. I love me a good facial oil. When I started using facial oils, probably seven years ago, um, my face stopped producing oil as much, so I stopped breaking out as much. And since then, I just haven't strayed from using oils on my face. And I actually love oils in general. My skin gets really dry and it's also really oily. So I feel like moisturizing with oil helps me a lot with that. But you know, you fight oils with oils. I have a bunch that I use. I just keep getting new ones and I keep trying them and I like to switch it up. This one is by One Love. It's a chia oil, which I don't know. This is the everything oil. I really like this stuff. She also markets this as a cleanser and also sells you this with a cleansing cloth and I loved using it and now I'm down to like my last drops and I'm trying to savor it. Now instead of using it as a cleanser, I use it just to moisturize my face, but this was a really good cleanser. I also have this one, which is by Gold Fadden MD. This is a native botanical cell oil. I don't know what that means. I really like it on my face too. This one's nice and light and moisturizing and it lasted me a long time. So I even use this like on my neck, my arms, my legs. I dilute it with a little bit of water and just kind of like rub it on my legs. Oh, and this isn't a facial oil, but it is an oil. This is a body serum by the same brand that does the chia seeds, One Love. And I love this one um, to spray on your body when you get out of the shower and just rub it in. Oh, I just love the idea of like getting out of the shower and not putting lotion on and spraying things on. And then I also realized I just really don't like lotion. A lot of people ask me like where I get my jewelry and it's from all over, but my favorite like dainty jewelry that's really affordable is Merida. This was on my neck, but I thought it was too much with um, this dress. But I wear this every day. This is like, I wanna say 50 or $60 necklace, which I think is really, really affordable for a piece that you can wear every day and it doesn't tarnish or anything. I also have their ring on too, which is like a cute little dangle ring. And I think this is about $40. Some of the stuff's a little bohemian for me, but you can get some really chic minimal pieces. So I don't know what it's made of actually, but the fact that it hasn't tarnished makes me really like it. Last on my list is this cleansing wipe. I never really got into the whole Neutrogena face wipes. I always felt like it left this film of product in my face and I didn't like the smell of it. It smelled too baby powdery. And the whole idea of a cleansing wipe to me should be that I don't wanna wash my face after. So I bought this before I went on my trip to Vietnam because I was like, well, what if I don't have access to running water? I need a good face wipe. So I found this on Amazon. It breaks down all of your makeup. Like I can actually use this and wipe off all the makeup I have on my face right now. And I can comfortably in good conscience go to sleep after using this and wiping off the makeup I have on my face, like this heavy makeup. If I really want to deep clean, I'll use this to wipe off like heavy makeup like this and then I'll wash my face again. But what I love about it is that it doesn't leave my skin feeling like there's a film over it and it doesn't make my skin feel stripped. I carry this a lot with me when I'm traveling and I'll take my makeup off on the plane. And it's also free of parabens, petroleum, mineral oils, sulfates, phthalates, and dye. I've tried and tried to like the Neutrogena stuff, but I just don't. I've also used the Yes to Tomatoes one. That one's okay, um, the cucumber wipes, but this one just takes a cake. It's the best cleansing wipe I've ever used and I prefer that over all those drugstore products. And I think that concludes my favorites video. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below if you guys rather see a monthly video even though, no. I know it's a long video because it's like half a year's worth of products I'm talking about that I like. Also, everything is linked down below and everything is in a blog post down below and everything is timestamped for the visual learners, the people who want to read, and the people who just want to know what one product is. Okay, that was exhausting. Okay guys, I'm getting really hot. I can't wait to get out of this dress and into my underwear and turn the fan on and have a smoothie. So I'm gonna end this right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.